It is another edition of Full Court Press. Thanks for staying up with us. I'm Glenn Kinley. And I'm Lainey Gerber. For the second straight week, we have midseason tournaments going on across the viewing area. They are so much fun. We do. It was the fellows last week. The ladies this time around. We'll start with those tournaments before moving on to some other games in the area. And we'll start with the tournament right here in Top City. The Capital City Classic. Seaman Vikings are the hosts here. And they're also playing, of course, in the semifinal <laughs> against Wichita South. Lady Vikes, Creighton commit, Anna Becker out to Taylor Stallbomber. One thing about Taylor Stallbomber, she hits those. Oh, yeah. Becker cooking her defender now. Blow by. Oh. Help defense is just no use. And one. Well, it wasn't actually an one. They didn't call the foul. I felt like they should have, though. She was on the she ground. She took that contact like hey, a champ, she though. She still scored it, though. Becker just so athletic. Goes up and gets this one. Free throw line, Jay. Like it's easy. It, uh, it wasn't easy, but she makes it look easy. <laughs> Here comes Seaman in transition. Maddie Gregg, if you're uh, not going to stop her, she'll just go ahead and score. Gregg <laughs> driving again on the next one. Spin move. She'll finish it, and the Vikes just barely drop a close one. 58-53 to will play for the third place game tomorrow. All right. Washburn Rural is also there taking on Wichita Heights in this game. Maddie Vickery leading her team to victory. Ball out to Destiny Oaks is good for three. Now Vickery gets the ball across from the Seaman bench and she adds her own three. Wichita Heights trying to make something happen down low. Here, here comes Vickery again, a block that time, ball back to her team. Inbounds, Kate Hink with a buttery smooth layup. Ooh. Washburn Rural wins it 50-43 to and they play Wichita South tomorrow. All right, good game. We stay right here in Topeka and we got a couple more games for you here. It's the Trojans and the Lions, not an ancient duel though. I know you were thinking it might be. Yeah. It's just more <laughs> basketball. Assyria Rayton. Corner three, she got it to go. Laney, I'm not sure if I'm saying her, right, her first name right. It's got a lot of letters in it. I'm trying my best, but Rayton, she's trying her best on the court too. She just keeps hooping. Another, no, she won't shoot it from the outside. She'll drive inside this time. I'll keep saying her name. All. Eventually, I'll get it right. Feel free to message me as long as you're nice. I'll say it right next time. <laughs> Rayton was really good today, but the Lady Trojans fall 49 to 31. Topeka West is ready to roll, taking on Shawnee Mission West. West versus West, who's the best? Adelaine Hall gets the ball in the backcourt and just shoots it up to the front, basically. Chargers out charging. Imani McGlory wants all the glory. We said it mm -hmm. once or twice. <laughs> Shots up. She's back on the move. Tierra Gonzalez takes a possession, gives Ooh, it to Hall, pass. to Zoe Clark, up and in. Gonzalez from deep. The facilitator is getting a bucket there of her own go. now. But Shawnee Mission West gets ahead and stays ahead to the final buzzer. Final score is 47 to 33. There's your four games from Seaman, and now we go down south to the Glacier's Edge Invitational in the Windy City, Laney. Emporia, yeah. Kansas. Or every city. This in Kansas. one's Highland Park and Blue <laughs> Valley. Lady Scott scoring in a hurry. Tatiana Broyles blowing by defenders. Right handed layup, good. And Laney, the old saying goes if at first you don't succeed, try again. Mm -hmm. But if you still don't succeed, try again. Just quit. Oh. And just keep shooting the basketball. <laughs> Pramila Carter scores there. And the Scots aren't done. The next one was Broyles to Navia Atkins. And here's a running floater from Angelique Gown Britt. Nice bucket there. But Blue Valley wins and advances to the championship 62 46. And the host, Emporia, of course, playing in the Glacier's Eds. We love when the host plays in their own invitation. They ought to do that. Yeah, <laughs> Lady Spartans meeting Derby and Addie Kermer. I'm about to say her name a lot. Nice layup there. She was terrific. And also, well, this is Alexa Shively getting a put back and a rebound. More Kermer, though. Left side, blow by. Mm. She'll score wherever, whenever, and however her team needs it. 24 points for Kermer tonight. How about we go to the outside? Tegan Baker drills a triple here. This one required overtime. Mm. And Emporia storms back from an 11-point halftime deficit to win 61-53. to All right, we'll see him again. Back up north to the Jeffco North Invitational, Perry LeCompton and Rossville are going at it. Emma Mitchell to Riley Dick early on increases the dog's lead here. Taylor Dom comes charging back, down low, shots up, and it's in. Nice finish there. Shot bounces off the rim, but Nora Burdick finishes the job here. Inbounds right to Mitchell. Next year, the shot clock. After that, we want a four-point line because she <laughs> hey, can we, use it. She might, yeah. Riley Dick going along the baseline this time. She'll still score. Dogs get a nice 10-point lead on that one. Allison Farmer cuts into it, but the dogs stay on top. Russell wins it 72-21. to How about another game up there, Lane? Okay, and get this. Jeffco North is going to play in the Jeffco North Invitational they, now. They always seem to do that when they host Crazy. a tournament. Crazy. <laughs> They're playing the Northeast Kansas Nighthawks. Abby Laird up to Emily Langley. Charger start strong. Langley again, she doesn't need much to get her shot wow. up and to score. Impressive. She makes it look pretty easy. And get this, Langley bounce and turn around. 
she's on fire in this game. Clara Johnson grabs a three, and it's just all net for there. Mm -hmm. These aren't the only girls cooking. Abby Laird is also having a game. Scores down low, bucket after bucket. The Chargers get the dub 44 to 36. All right, how about Shawnee Heights hosting Hayden? Just the boys in this one. Incredible atmosphere. In fact, so good that College Game Day showed up. It's I'm a big sure game. They got to be there. Jay Billis is down there somewhere, <laughs> I think. Wildcats come out firing. Dom Ridley, get a hand in his face or else he'll hit those. Senior class littered with shooters. Cooper Kolbach, triple. Hayden has the early lead, and they're not done. The visitors hit one, two, three threes in the opening minutes. Mm. Cats go up seven. But here come the T-Birds. Daquan Lee, just a sophomore, gets his own rebound and scores. Lots of second chance points for Heights tonight. Jarrett Sanchez, fast break. No dunk, just a layup. Next <laughs> it's time. It's early. He'll be nice. Not so nice on the next one, though. Wow. Sanchez living life above the rim. The oh, he's bench, done being nice. You called it. <laughs> yeah. The bench loves it. The student section will love it. You'll see them in a minute. And after a rocky start, Coach Darting's team gets a win for the home crowd. T-Birds take it. 67-55. Oh, what a game there. We come back in Topeka, and it's the Topeka West boys hosting Leavenworth. The Chargers getting going early. Kimani Paul to Caleb Nunu. Bank Bank is open, open. Mm. Paul can do more than pass, though. A steal and a fast break slam. How about two dunks on full court press tonight? We'd love to see that. We want more. The people love dunks, but the people love threes, too. Oh, Jalen Foy. Those. Posted up in, in front of the camera, smart man. A little further from the camera on the next one, but just as smooth of a jumper for Kamani Ford. Chargers win 66-39. All right, in Boomtown, it is rivalry time. Rock Creek is taking on the Red Raiders. Just 15 miles separate these schools. Mm -hmm. Coley Burgess starts things off for the Mustangs, turning around under the basket. Drew Petty has an answer, though. Gets the ball from Luke Geish, and he makes the most of it. Brady Schneider from the top of the arc. Perfect shot, and he shares the love with his friends course, in the student section. In a rivalry this heated, the teams are <laughs> passionate. You know, Slade Smith flexing after adding to Amigo's total. Dagan Vendusca robs this ball and takes it home after. Bounce to Gavin Rosa, just like they drew oh, yeah. it up at right here. And Rock Creek gets the dub on the road, 62-31. to 31. The girls start the night, of course, and it is not any less crazy. Student section very into mm -hmm. it. Leah Winter to Riley Meinhart. Paints the bucket red. Mm -hmm. On the other end, Peyton Roddinghouse, no look to Aislinn Roddinghouse. Number 10 knows nothing but net. Sarah Pittenger Reed gets the ball on the move, gets it in the net, even on her way down. Yeah, that's a tough finish. The Mustangs can score down there too, though. Brooklyn Plummer with the moves. Isabella Wilbur, great in the post, keeps Wamigo on top. Rock Creek keeps it close, but the Red Raiders stay up there while Migo defends their home court. 47 to 37. That's a couple really good teams there. Mm -hmm. Back up north we go. Sabetha hosting Silver Lake for a double header. Transition is the scoring method of choice for the Eagles early. How about Tanner Martin? We called his name a lot on Friday nights during football season. Good on the court two and one. And then a steal by Eli Lopez. Just an outstanding pass. Who up to Dane it. Johnson. That was a great pass. Hopefully he plays football too. Another <laughs> fast break score. The Jays, though, get busy in the post. Jacob Grimm to Tyler Menhold. The big fellows get cooking. Grimm himself this time scoring. The post moves. Count it in the foul. I don't know what they're feeding these guys in <laughs> Sabetha Laney, but keep feeding them that. The big boys get it done, and Sabetha wins 76. 57. Doubleheader though, as promised. So we got the girls game. Heck Lady yeah. J's, Alexia Hayden, left side. Not everybody can score on the left side, Laney. Mm -mm. I can because I'm left handed. Oh, good job. Don't ask me to go right though. Other <laughs> end, all about that ball movement. Three Eagles will touch it. Ella Bolin, Bolin, mm. swishes it. More Sabetha. Carson Meyer to Chloe Detweiler. Good finish over a defender. But McKinley Kruger gets in her bag. She usually does. And then you can forget about it. She yeah. was really good tonight, and the Eagles win 63-19. to 19. All right, the Marysville boys are taking on Nemaha Central. Buckle your seatbelts. This goes down to the wire. First play of the game, Will Audit with a dagger of the three-pointer. But his game is pretty smooth, too. Mm -hmm. Audit with the floater here. He can do it all. Wow. Thunder starts to roll. Colby Free takes it to the rack. Who's hungry? Well, Cooper Kramer feeds, feeds it to Abe Hilbert to keep Nemaha Central going. Now back on this side, it's still raining threes. Bryant Siemens drills one. Carter Roddinghouse takes it along the baseline here. Reverse layup is just 
Squeaky clean. That's we love nice smooth take. shots That's like that. Nice They're take. just so nice. This game goes down to the wire, like we said, and Nemaha Central's Abe Hilbert ends up with the buzzer beater for the win. Final is 51 to 49 there. Wow, that is a close one. All right, some other scores for you. Manhattan boys at Blue Valley. MHS Falls, a close one in OT, 53 mm. to 50. Highland Park boys at KC East. Scott's run away with a 93 to 55 victory. They can score a lot of points. Osage City at Santa Fe Trail. Doubleheader Osage City sweeps. The boys win 53 44. The girls win 52 46. Council Grove at Linden. Doubleheader. Linden may be even better at basketball. Boys oh win 67 to 37. Girls win 47 to 24. Got a lot of good teams over there, Laney. What stood out to you tonight? There was lots of good basketball. Uh, every any smooth shot you can give me, I love it. But being in Wamigo for mm -hmm. that rivalry against Rock Creek, that was a lot of fun. The place was packed and they have a big gym. Yeah, I was at Shawnee Heights and the atmosphere was phenomenal there too. And I'm really excited for Emporia. Their girls storm back for the comeback win. And then they get to play tomorrow in the championship game in the tournament they host. You love Definitely. to see that. Definitely. They deserve that. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, thanks for watching Full Court Press. We'll be right back.